Hi guys, so I have a question for you. What is Okafor's law? Someone say that the law says once they bear, always they bear. Yes. <laughs> I think it's bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's a law that was say with blood. Why don't we test this Okafor's law of use? We pick for girls who slept with in uni ah, and you try oh, Okafor's law. Four is too much. So sorry. Chooks. 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 believe in Okafor's law? How true is Okafor's law? <laughs> Those are the questions I'm going to be asking tonight. Yes, we are at the premiere of Okafor's law, written, directed and produced by Omoni Oboli. Right here, a few miles, IMAX Cinemas in Lekki. That's the movie we're premiering tonight. So I'm going to be asking those questions of the actors and actresses, the filmmakers, whoever comes across my way, they must answer. Have they ever practiced, practiced <laughs> Okafor's law? But do you think it's true? Is the law, is it, is, it, is it realistic? I don't think there are laws in this world, mm. except for the Ten Commandments. Mm. There are no laws anywhere. You know, people from it, uh, they come up with laws and, you know, so it's left for you to choose what works for you and apply. Um, I, I think whoever propounded that theory probably had a personal experience and then maybe the person spoke to a few people and you know oh here and here and here and it's worked for a few people so it would be I don't think it would be surprising that those people feel like the law is real or the law is true but I, I it has never happened to me so but that that would not mean that I would deny the fact that it probably exists to be honest chances are that when you've been with someone before chances are that you might it's possible so usually it's why they say to people when someone is an ex just leave them in your past don't find yourself in tempting situations because the truth is in uh, worry parlance they'll say old fire would they quick catch fire so it's more hey. <laughs> <laughs> now in the trailer we, we saw you briefly but we didn't get to uh, we couldn't decide what kind of character you were playing so tell us a little bit about your character in the movie um, i play a character called onome onome is a bodyguard and a bodyguard is She's black, you know, so, um, and you know, bodyguards are there like they're not there. So she's like meant to be invisible, but because it's a film now, she still has to be present. So um, you're going to see why a bodyguard is needed, and hopefully, you sympathize with or no mention is all your love and sympathy. <laughs> you love working with Amoni Oboli. I mean, we saw you in Wife, Wives and Strike. So, what's it like working with her? It's um, for me, it's double the dose, right? Because she's my friend, and it's cool working with um, working on the same set with your friend, and she's a very good director as well. So it's it's very it's fluid for me, and I'm comfortable working with her. How are you doing? Is it good? I'm good, you look beautiful. Thank you. So let's talk about Kafa as well. What did you feature in the movie at all? Yes, I did. Oh, tell us about it. What character did you play? Um, um, forgive me, it's um, almost a year since I shot this movie. I can't really remember my character name. <laughs> okay, but a little bit about the character description. Um, you're just going to laugh watching Mary Lazarus play her role in this movie. That's it. So what are you looking forward to from this movie? Okay, I'm looking forward to laugh a little, enjoy myself a little, and learn a little. So, you know, just a little bit of everything. Thin, you know, just have fun. Why is it, is it extra difficult or what's it like actually having to wear all those hats by yourself. I always say to people it's the toughest job in the world, you know, but it's it comes easy because I love what I do. There are times I want to pull my hair out. There are times I bust into tears, you know, but but every time I'm done, I want to do it all over again. You know, no matter how difficult it is, I'm saying, oh my gosh, who sent me now? Why can't I ju just have been a lawyer or a doctor or so what is all this, you know? But then I'm done with it and I'm thinking when are we going on set again? <laughs> you know? Okay, I need to start writing again. We need to go on set. I, I, I love what I do. Do you believe in the law? Do you think it's actually true? Mm, no, I don't. And it's not, it's, not, it's not the same for everyone. Every individual has their own peculiarities. So certain things are not applicable for some set of people. Is Choma yeah, so the person or Choma the actor? Choma the actor. Choma the actor, I believe it's 
Choba the person. You know the answer. <laughs> Hell no. 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 Itself. I'm all right. This is Kafo's law. I don't know. But for me, I'm concerned. It's not true. For me, oh, once they bear doesn't mean you can always they bear. <laughs> so it's been quite an exciting time right here talking to the actors and actresses and getting their thoughts on Okafor's law, the law itself. I personally believe that you always have a choice, okay? Don't let people deceive you into thinking there's a law, one day better, always day better. Wash. We are right now about to go into the cinema to actually go watch the movie and have a very good time. So, thank you for joining me on the red carpet and be rest assured that I'll bring you my review of the movie. Definitely, like you always do. My name is Adenike once again. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you, remaining God. <laughs> Bye. Some of you heard some allegations some time ago, but my story, my script, my movie was written 100% by me. You can take that to the bank. <laughs>